Hello everyone. So first things first, uh, with the slim blade and the profile, so how low or how high is it? Uh, if you measure it here, it's, it says 27 degrees. If you measure it here, 30, 31. So indeed, this one has higher profile than this one. Also the angle is different, yeah? Uh, but if you want to use it uh, with the armrest, uh, so, sorry, the wrist rest, here it says, you may not see it, but it's 22 degrees. So if you want to use it, just get it out of the box and uh, you want to attack this wrist rest for the expert mouse, then the profile will be lower here. Yeah, because this, is, this wasn't attached to the slim blade. This one I did with a part of my old chair that I need to throw out. So surprisingly it fitted here and it looks stupid, but it's super comfortable because now the Profile is the the the, the degree is 16, 16 degrees, so it's super comfortable for my hand. And it looks stupid, but at the end of the day, it's all about my comfort, so I don't care. I will use this one. And uh, yeah, but still, if you just pack uh, get it out of the box, this one will be better, yeah, in in the long run. And and I also very like this softness of this wrist rest. It's much better than having your hand on the on the ta uh, on the table, yeah. You also can kind of have it on the, like, not in this degree, but like this, easier, yeah? Because of the profile also, because of the higher profile, you, you can use it like this. Here it's more to be used like this, if, if, it's, if the profile is more horizontal, yeah? So this is the first point you may, you may take under consideration. The second point uh, are the buttons, so they are more comfortable on the expert, Kensington expert. Um, just 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 an opinion it may not be more comfortable for everyone here the area is much larger as you see the, those are all buttons here the buttons are smaller so this one may fit for more people uh, as a result um, if you have for example very large hand you may not be able to 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 reach this button without curling your finger yeah it might happen here it's probably uh, suitable for more people, but it also has disadvantages. For example, here there is a area without any buttons, so whenever I had to point something that is very small on the screen, I used to do this thing. So put my finger uh, on the on the on this area and just move the ball with this very slow, very precise movement. And then, if if I have the the the, the specific area. My pointer in the specific area, I can click the button. Here it's, yeah, this part is slippery and it's not so comfortable to do this this thing, yeah? I sometimes do it anyway, but it's not not as comfortable. I'm, actually, I'm not sure if this is healthy for your hand to do it like this, but it, it feels healthy, it feels good. And it's I think it's much easier to point at something than to use your fingers, since if you want to rest your finger fingers, whenever you put them out of the trackball, you move it a little bit, so this is the problem. And here it's easier to put your uh, hand from the trackball without uh, moving it. Here it's not so easy, yeah. So that's why I was using it, and I actually miss it on this on this one, yeah. So this one would be better with with uh, if it had uh, this small area without buttons. Uh, at least this is my uh, opinion, yeah. Um, I also about the assigning of the buttons. It uh, because both of the mouse comes uh, with uh, Kensington Works software. You can download it from the internet. Uh, you can change the accuracy, the 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 speed and the acceleration of the mouse, and also map the buttons properly. Uh, so so how I map the buttons? Maybe you may. Have, uh, it's advice from me. I map the buttons like uh, here is the left button of the mouse, regular left button, button number one. Uh, with button number two, I mapped it like this, so you have to click both of them. I don't use uh, this button as much. Um, and so here I mapped the uh, dragging. Yeah, so dragging with trackball is not so comfortable because you have to select, uh, for example, the icon, then click, and then move, the, move it like this. So your thumb is tensed here, tensed all the time, yeah? 
and it's it's I think it's not healthy and I've read that it's not healthy actually so I map the dragging function here and you can do it with the software which is pretty cool yeah so you just you just select what you want to drag you click this thing here you select where you want to drag it and click it again and it's you know it's clicked off super cool um, here yeah so I uh, so okay so here I'm up the here I'm up the third button sorry so yeah third button is pretty usable if you want to open a new tab in Chrome for example here I mark the back and here here I'm, there is a forward button map by by but I override it with some uh, different software and I override it in a matter I, maybe I will give a link in the description which software I use by I but I override it in a matter that when you click this one and you hold it, you can scroll with the, with the ball itself and you can scroll not only vertically, but horizontally also. And it feels super cool. I mean, it's actually very, very cool. It's almost as comfortable as scrolling with the trackpad. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, if you have like a text editor open and you want to scroll like this, it's comfortable and it's super nice. Uh, yeah, so maybe you will, you will find this setup also good. Uh, when it comes to scrolling, this uh, this scroll ring here, it feels cheap. It's I don't like it. It's not very comfortable if you want to scroll a lot. If you browse memes on nine cac or something, you you won't be you won't be happy with it. Uh, at least I wasn't happy with it. Some people like it. That's why I actually bought both of them and and decided to return one of them. So to test and return one of them because I I thought that I would like it. But I don't like it at all. It's not comfortable to do it like this or like this. It's yeah. The problem is that if you do like you can't scroll very fast because you move the ball, so your cursor is like drunk on the screen. Uh, you also sometimes click the button here when scrolling. It's you know like this. Is, I, I I mean it's maybe the placement is wrong. I don't know. There's something wrong with it. Here this scroll. Maybe you will hear this. It's super cool. I mean, it's I love I love it. Yeah, it's it's super cool feeling to scroll like this, and uh, it's also very comfortable. You can uh, browse the internet and do some small movements like this. Your hand is not uh, in any tense. Your hand is relaxed. It feels good. Here you have to like find the right spot and not touch the ball. Maybe if you have super small fingers, it will be okay. But with if you, unless you are you have sev you are seven years old, it probably won't be alright for you. Also, um, the other thing that comes from the fact that you have the scrolling here is that the part of the um, of the ball that is outside of the how do you call it? Yeah, of, of the rest of the device is smaller. Yeah, and it's actually kind of better. You know, because it's easier to point with it uh, for some reason, yeah. So maybe you can't. Po you can here. You can't move so fast because this area is smaller. If you move like this, yeah, you, your cursor won't move. Uh, the 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 distance will be smaller on this cursor. Uh, sorry, but um, yeah, this this one was more comfortable. Um, yeah, what 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 next? Uh, yeah, I think I covered everything. Um, eventually, what I chose is this one, the Slim Blade. But I chose it, I wasn't sure, to be honest. For a long time, this one was more comfortable for me. But after three or four days, I actually felt, like, felt that this one is better. Um, if it wasn't for the wrist rest, I think I would choose this one, yeah? But I managed to make this wrist rest from yeah from the the old chair. Don't ask me what chair was it. <laughs> um, and now it's super cool. Yeah, I already got used to it. Uh, so at the end of the day, the perfect trackball from Kensington would be uh, this one, but having um, a wrist rest from this one so having the same angle uh, that i have here and i have like 15 degrees if i remember correctly and so if i had a track if if i would be manufacturing trackable i would choose the scrolling behind from kensington slim blade i would choose the button from kensington expert i would also choose the uh, wrist rest from kensington expert and i will also choose to have this area here that is not clickable 
and that will be you know the ultimate trackball, uh, the be the best option ever. Uh, but yeah, eventually I will leave with oh, and I would also make this ball to be lower a little bit, yeah, a little bit, so it would be more comfortable. I think that's yeah, and and the, but eventually, like I said, I choose this one. About the software also, maybe um, you can customize speed and acceleration, but I actually had a problem with this one, uh, which I didn't solve yet, since if here if I choose the acceleration to be one point out of 10, it's the speed is super good and acceleration with speed ratio is super cool. Here, if I choose one point out of 10, it's too fast, a little bit too fast. So it's, you know, it's, I think it's something with the drivers, maybe I'll uninstall and reinstall them and it will work out eventually. You may also use a different software to override it, maybe I'll do it, but uh, yeah, just, just to let you know that the software isn't ideal, let's say. Yeah, and that's all I think. So take your time and make a good decision, maybe it will help you. I hope so. And have a good day, bye.